Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And today we're going to be discussing VERU, TOMDF, CYDY, CSUI, SIRC, MTTR, SDC, BMXI, INKW, MONI, HVCW, RGBP, PLL, LTMCF, I. L-I-A-C-F, B-B-B-Y, and D-U-T-V. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational, educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. For more information, Please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With out of the way, let's uh, dive in here, folks. Uh, great way to uh, end the week. Uh, Friday ended on a strong note uh, with uh, major averages all uh, closing at the highs of the week. Uh, markets now uh, up 20% off the lows. Overall, we're seeing a lot of bullish enthusiasm across small caps. Uh, and uh, we're, we're liking what we're seeing. Uh, it has been a gr- was a great week for InsiderFinancial.com subscribers. Uh, last month was great. This week was great. So, this, so far, August has been great. So uh, we're happy. Um, first up is a article by uh, biotech analyst Chris Sandberg. Uh, he talked about uh, new CDC guidelines revive COVID therapeutic COVID therapeutic need for VERU, TOMDF, and CYDY. Uh, VERU was the big runner of the three, closed up 19% on the day, uh, new 52-week highs. Uh, TOMDF, uh, basically unchanged, that's been a big runner this week. Um, been talking about this one on the channel over the past week. Uh, really, really nice move. Um, you know, it's not honestly a treatment for COVID, but also uh, they're running, uh, they just started their uh, PCR test for monkeypox. Uh, so uh, TOMDF is also a monkeypox play. Uh, CYDY, uh, this has been a volatile play. Uh, we talked about this one uh, last month around 40 cents. I uh, had to move all the way up to $1.20. Uh, it's retraced uh, almost half the move. Uh, look, consolidating here. Uh, we're expecting uh, CYDY to make another move uh, back over a dollar. So keep your eye on this one. Uh, CSUI, I've uh, been talking about this this one this week, big runner this week, up 350%. Uh, last month, it was at a, just a penny, uh, ran all the way to 30 cents. Uh, wild day on Friday, dipped down to uh, 13 cents uh, uh, before closing at 22 cents. So uh, dip buyers are here in CSUI. As I said uh, in Thursday's video, you know, it's a reverse merger play, a lot of catalysts coming up, uh, just a $7 million market cap. And uh, I said on Thursday's action, there was just some profit taking. Uh, so we got some more of that on Friday, but the uh, smart money came in and bought the dip uh, in CSUI. Uh, next up is SIRC, uh, really consolidating here. Uh, got a triple bottom uh, just at uh, under 40 cents. Uh, closed the week at 44 cents. Uh, really like the price action. Um, RSI uh, here it had gotten really overbought. Uh, when it was above 60 cents, it was over 90. Uh, we've pulled back here. Uh, RSI is now a more reasonable 60. Uh, we think this one can uh, really uh, consolidate uh, and uh, and move higher. We're 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 targeting over a dollar uh, in the short term on SIRC. So this is one we still like. Next up, guys, I said uh, in Thursday's video, five penny stocks to watch. Uh, They were MTTR, SDC, BMXI, INKW, and MONI, and only it was just MONI was down on Friday. So four out of five isn't bad on the ones I I said. Uh, MTTR, uh, this one here uh, had a... Big day on uh, Thursday, uh, just uh, some uh, uh, consolidating here. Uh, just keep an eye on this one. I'm not really in love with MTTR. It's just one uh, that I, I uh, 
I see that it, it, it can really, uh, it's it gotten really oversold. Um, I like the chart pattern in terms of this rounding bottom, um, but this one is, is a watch and see uh, to see if it can, can keep the momentum going or not. Um, SDC Smile Direct Club, as I said on Thursday, this is a major, major uh, short squeeze candidate. 22% uh, of the float is short. Um, this one here, uh, if it closes above two, uh, that's what's really going to get the momentum players excited. Um, and I think we'll, we'll make a quick run to three if, if we are able to do that with uh, uh, the big short position in the stock. Uh, next up, guys, is BMXI. Uh, really great week, uh, uh, up over 100% for the week. Um, this is one has just a $2.7 million market cap. Extremely undervalued. Uh, I've been told the, uh, some due diligence coming across. Some people have been reached out to me. Uh, the the uh, book value on BMXI is over 70 cents a share. So uh, this one looks to be a, a extremely undervalued play, um, one that we really like here at InsiderFinancial.com, and one uh, to uh, keep your eye on. Uh, next up is INKW. Uh, great PR on Thursday. Uh, their uh, uh, CBD uh, beverages are, are out, um, and uh, it's really getting a lot of traction, and it's just been a, a great runner ho here over the past month. So, again, continues to make new highs. Uh, really like the, uh, the action in INKW. Uh, next up is MONI. Uh, this is the only one that uh, was down on the day, but uh, really gave you some uh, nice opportunities here. Uh, it uh, sold off, dip buyers came in, and uh, we closed up here uh, near this uh, three cents high. We gotta we gotta get over three cents, uh, as I said in Thursday's video, and then uh, certainly will uh, be an interesting play uh, uh, with uh, momentum players coming into uh, MONI. So definitely. Uh, uh, Keep, keep your eye on this one. As I said on Thursday, uh, this one has been running on no news. Someone knows something. Uh, so definitely uh, keep your eye on M-O-N-I. Let's see what else we want to talk about, guys. Uh, there was something else I wanted to... Uh I uh, forget what I was saying. Oh, uh, BMXI. Uh, what was interesting about this play here on uh, on, on Friday, uh, it opened at uh, just under 11 cents uh, and ran all the way to almost 18 cents. So uh, if you were day trading it, congrats. It really gave you, you know, uh, potential gains of over 50%. So uh, really, really nice action there on BMXI. But, uh, you know, again, got some profit taking. RSI here is a little bit uh, over overbought. Uh, uh, so we'll see what Monday's action may bring. But as I said earlier, really, really like this one uh, long term. And, uh, you know, to get more of our alerts, uh, you know, make sure you click that link in the description. Uh, it's a completely free service. Go to signup.insiderfinancial.com. Or as I say, click on that link description. Sign up with your email and your mobile number. Mobile works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For U.S. and Canada, it'd be one plus area code and number. Also, we'll send out a welcome email where you can download the free Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. Uh, next up, guys, is some new plays here. Um, HVCW, uh, really, really impressive here. Um, this is a reverse merger play um, with just a $5.9 million market cap. Um, put out the uh, uh, filings. Um, first one came on, uh, uh, hit the tape on August uh, 2nd. Uh, the company uh, put out uh, that they had an agreement uh, uh, to merge, so it'd be uh, HVCW merging with Penn Merger Sub LLC, a California limited liability company, and Pacific Energy Network, a California LLC. Um, Pacific Energy Network is a California-based parent company of several subsidiary LLCs that manage solar, roofing, HVAC, security, distribution, consulting, lead generation, marketing, sales, data, software, and mortgage division. 
Provisions. Founded in 2016, Penn has quickly become one of the largest and most successful home services companies in the nation with a footprint across multiple states. With a focus on customer satisfaction and strategic business planning, Penn has grown into a multi-product business that has increased revenue year over year and expanded its reach to new markets across the uh, United States. Um, Let's see what else we got here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, uh, so then yesterday um, on the eleventh or on Thursday we got the 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 press release or the, the another eight K um, that the uh, uh, that they officially closed um, the uh, previously executed agreement and plan of merger. Um, uh, the merger agreement was forwarded to the California Secretary of State for filing uh, and issuance of certificate of merger. The merger was approved by the stockholders of HVCW and members of Penn. The merger agreement approved and uh, authorized by the boards and directors of each of HVCW and Penn. Effective on August 8th, Jeffrey M. Canu, sold to officer and director and majority shareholder of HVCW, appointed Robert W. Tesh as sole officer and director of HVCW as his successor, as his last official act, and resigned as a condition of the merger. He also, also effective on August 8th, he assigned all 51 shares of HVCW's Series B preferred stock, giving Robert Tesh majority control of HVCW. Um, again, uh, you know, this here it talks about uh, the incoming CEO, uh, Robert Tesh. Uh, he's a self taught business visionary. He, he founded Modern Pro Solutions, for form formerly Pacific Energy Network, in 2018 to leverage his nearly 20 years of field and manager experience in all aspects of home and business services, maintenance and owner support since starting Modern Pro Solutions, a full-service residential and commercial rooftop solar energy company. Uh, he's led an ambitious uh, vertical in uh, integration. And if you look at the, um, you can go to modernprosolutions.com, look at the team. Uh, there he is, Bobby Tesh, founder and CEO. But look at this team. I mean, this is a multi-million dollar organ you know, year revenue business uh, with a, uh, a, a solid management team uh and and again this is in the trip zeros i mean uh you know this week it was up 125 percent just uh there's not a lot of eyes on this one this one has a lot more room to run uh so this one needs to be on your radar screen hvcw start paying attention uh if you aren't already we really like this one this is you know reverse merger plays are, are where the action is right now and you know we are looking at all these filings that get dropped I mean, there's not a lot of pro official press releases you have to be focused on these sec filings we have software we monitor in real time when these filings get updated and uh, this is how we are able to find these head of the crowd reverse merger plays for our subscribers and that is where you make the big money it's about getting in before the crowd so hit that link in the description sign up for free get all of our alerts this way you don't miss any of these big runners like hvcw uh next up is rgbp uh this is another one uh you know it's all in the filings uh, you know this is just an impressive company a lot is happening here First of all, um, you know, the company uh, on July 19th, the company issued 54.5 million common shares to Coventry Enterprises LLC in satisfaction of $180,552 worth of con convertible indebtedness. The principal balance and accrued inter interest payable remaining on the $1.5 million prom promissory note issued to co Coventry Enterprises are both $0 as of July 19th. So CEO David Coos, He's cleaning up the, the, the shit uh, from past uh, management um, and, you know, the company is executing. Um, you know, he put out this uh, on August 9th, KCL Therapeutics Inc., the wholly owned subsidiary of Arg Regen Biopharma, filed a provisional patent application with the United States Patent and Trademark Office covering methods, means, and compositions of matter useful for treatment of cancer through enhancement of anti-tumor uh, activity of chimeric antigen receptor, uh, CAR T cells through differentiation of said C's, said cells, chimeric uh, antigen receptor cells or T cells that have been modified to attack specific antigens such as cancer cells. T cells are part of the immune system and develop from, stones, from stem cells in the bone marrow. 
bottom line is, guys, we've been following RGBP a long, long time. They have tremendous IP. Uh, David Coos, uh, he is in, in control. Um, he um, has special provisions for uh, in terms of a sale. Um, and I think he's gearing this company up uh, to, uh, again, this is a prime takeover buyout candidate. I think Big Farm is going to come in, come in and scoop up this IP uh, that RGBP has. Um, again, this is a great play here at just one penny. Um, last year, it ran all the way to eight cents. Even there, I still see it as undervalued. Uh, this is a tremendous play. They're not putting up PRs. They're not all over Twitter. Um, you know, it's uh, he's just building a business. He's built, you know, and built gearing this company up for sales with file with patent filings. Um, I like this quote. He said. Um, CAR T cells have been made in the clinic for six years, but they have hardly made a dent in treating solid tumors. We hope that through the diligent work of our scientists and collaborators, that advancements such as what we announced today will pave the way to bring this incredible uh, cellular immunotherapy to patients suffering from solid tumors such as lung, colon, prostate, and cancer. Again, he's not putting out PRs. He's getting uh, interviewed by uh, uh, labiotech.eu. So again, you know, he's focused on the science. Uh, he's not, you know, here pumping the stock or anything like that. He's just doing what needs to be done to build shareholder value. So RGBP, one you need to start paying attention to. Uh, next up, guys, is uh, three names. Uh, PLL, this is Piedmont Lithium. Tremendous run all the way from 32 last month to uh, 68 yesterday. Uh, LTMCF, uh, Lithium Chili, uh, has run from 35 cents to 50 cents. And uh, uh, American Lithium Corp has run from $1.20 uh, to $2.40. This is a double in the, in, the next month, in the last month. Lithium stocks are hot. I have a few on my radar, undiscovered plays for my subscribers uh, to get these uh, lithium plays that have yet to run. Click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com. Lithium is hot. Uh, this is a, a great sector. I've been talking about this sector on the channel over and over again, and uh, we're seeing a lot of runners here in the sector, but there's a few that have not yet run. So uh, we really like this sector, and uh, this is uh, you're going to want to get our reports on these next big runners in the lithium sector. Next up, guys, is Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, strong close to the week, bidding up in the after hours. Guys, 42% of the float is short. That is a, right now, at today's prices, that is a $375 million bet that the stock is going to go down. The market cap is just $780 million. I see BBBY setting up to get a GameStop AMC type squeeze that we saw in 2021. Uh, I, you can, I'm not going to argue or get into the fundamentals of, of, of Bed Bath & Beyond. It's a simple short squeeze play. Uh, the apes are back. The Wall Street Bets crowd is back and they love Bed Bath & Beyond right now. And uh, the shorts, I think they've overstepped their luck. And uh, they're about to get crushed in Bed Bath and Beyond. So uh, this one, this play here, I think is going to be a big runner next week. Bed Bath and Beyond. Lastly, guys, is DUTV. Um, we got PRs coming next week. Uh, CEO, CEO Mark Galliswick, he said, "Hi, DUTV team. We, uh, DUTV team, we received back comments on Q and A video from a broker dealer. We are now making a couple of last changes and sending it back for final approval. The goal is to send it out Monday versus end of day Friday." Um, and he says, we also put together a slightly revised news release that's going out through a number of additional distribution channels on Monday. So we got a PR drop on Monday. Uh, this one here has been a nice consolidating here, uh, right here at a, a, just above a penny. Uh, we see this one gearing up to make a, a, a major move, uh, depending on how strong this press release is next week. So DUTV is another one. Uh, get on your radar screen and we'll watch uh, that PR drop on Monday. With that being said, a lot to talk about today, but there's a lot happening. These videos are getting longer. That's a great sign. That means, uh, you know, we're active, we're busy, we're here uh, for our subscribers. Uh, make sure you click that link in the description so that you don't miss any of these hot runners. Uh, the time is now. Play all markets, OTC, NASDAQ, NYSE. There's 
all kinds of opportunities right now. Uh, and when the opportunities are hot, when markets are hot, that's when you need to put your money to work. Uh, not financial advice, um, but again, you know, been doing this a long time and you got to strike while the iron's hot. Uh, and then, you know, when a, if another bear market comes around the corner, uh, that's when you go into cash and you get more selective and you, you hold off and you're not as aggressive. So again, uh, right now we're in a hot market, time to put that money to work. Again, not financial advice. With that being said, I want to wish everyone a wonderful weekend. Let's have another big week. Let's crush the shorts. And uh, good luck to all uh, traders this coming week. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.